If you're training for a combat sport like Brazilian Jiu Jitsu, then you're putting your body through its paces. And there's a high likelihood that your training will leave you with muscle soreness, joint pain, and fatigue. Here are seven supplements to help with your performance and recovery. Keep in mind that this video is not to be taken as medical advice. I simply share what the latest research suggests so that you can then go and discuss these supplements with your health professional. Curcumin is an anti-inflammatory compound found in the Indian spice turmeric. According to the latest research, it alleviates joint pain and prevents delayed onset muscle soreness by reducing muscle damage and inflammation in the body. A study from 2014 found curcumin to be equally as effective as ibuprofen in reducing joint pain from osteoarthritis. Curcumin also reduces cortisol and blood pressure and improves overall blood flow. A total daily intake of up to 1,500 milligrams of curcumin paired with black pepper extract has shown to be well absorbed and beneficial in athletes. Magnesium is essential for the energy metabolism, cardiorespiratory functions, muscle actions, muscle protein synthesis, bone health, sleep quality, and functions of the nervous system. The recommended daily intake of magnesium ranges between 400 to 420 milligrams per day for men and 310 to 320 milligrams per day for women. Strenuous exercise increases the loss of magnesium through urine and sweat, which means that the magnesium requirements for athletes are 10 to 20% higher, so magnesium supplementation may be beneficial. To avoid muscle loss, optimize recovery and maximize exercise-induced strength and muscle gains, the daily protein intake should be between 1.6 to 2.2 grams of protein per kilogram of body weight per day. Ideally, the athlete would consume 0.45 to 0.55 grams of protein per kilogram of body weight per meal across four meals per day. Creatine supplementation will increase creatine concentrations in the muscle, which will boost your performance in high intensity exercise targeting the ATP phosphocreatine energy system. Specifically, it will boost short bursts of power and explosiveness. The recommended daily intake for creatine monohydrate is 5 grams per day. Around 1 billion people worldwide are deficient in vitamin D, which can lead to an array of health problems including weak bones and muscles, vulnerability to coughs and colds, and feelings of depression. While the Institute of Medicine suggests a safe upper level of 4,000 IU, a study from 2017 suggests 6,000 to 8,000 IU depending on the person's BMI. According to a recent study from 2019, even high doses of up to 50,000 IU per day appear to be safe. Omega-3 fatty acids, whether it's from foods or fish oil supplements, reduce inflammation in the body. Dietary fish oil increases lipid oxidation, which means that more energy is being taken from fat tissue. People who don't have enough fish in their diet can improve their reaction time with fish oil supplementation. Whether it's from coffee, tea, or a pre-workout, caffeine intake supports aerobic exercise, increases the power output of athletes, and also helps with reaction time, attentiveness, and fatigue. If you found this video helpful, make sure you drop a like and comment. And if you want to dig a little deeper into the research behind this video, you'll find all the links down in the video description. Make sure you subscribe for future videos and I'll see you in the next one.